All right, guys, Mr. Antonucci here. And in this video, I want to walk you through an example of how to use integration by parts repeatedly. Sometimes you'll have an integral, whether it's an indefinite or definite integral, where you actually have to apply the method of integration by parts multiple times. In this example, we're going to do it twice, but the technique that I show you you could use it to in, use integration by parts more than two times. Sometimes you might have to do it two, three, four, or five times. I don't really think somebody's going to ask you to do it more than more than two or three times, but theoretically, you could use this as many times as needed. So we're asked to do the indefinite integral x squared times cosine x. If you remember the strategy that I taught you to go through what to pick for your u, you go by the LIPE at L-I-P-E-T, where you go logs, inverse trig, polynomial, exponential, and trig function. And that's what you want to pick in that order for your U. So we don't have any logs, we don't have any inverse trigs, but we do have a polynomial. That's the X squared right here. So U is X squared. And then DV is going to be cosine X DX. Then you differentiate your u, so du is 2x dx, and v is the antiderivative of your dv, so sine x right there. And then you follow the pattern u times v, so x squared sine x minus the integral of v du, so sine x times 2x dx. I'm going to factor the 2 out and talk about what to do with that. OK? OK. So the next thing we want to do is x sine x. We're going to have to use integration by parts there again. So u equals. Same thing if we go through LiPit, we're going to end up picking x for u, and dv is going to be our sine x dx, and du is going to be dx. v antiderivative of sine is negative cosine x. Now, one of the things I like about this is that there's constants that have to be multiplied and negatives that have to be accounted for. I'm going to show you a good strategy for how to do that. So uh, let me move this down one line just so I don't run into other stuff. So you have x squared sine x minus 2. Now I'm going to use integration by parts on that integral. So I'm going to do 2 times the answer to that. So I'm going to put a bracket there just so I keep track of what the 2 is multiplying. So again, uv, which is going to be negative x uh, cosine x minus the integral of v du. So the integral of v, which is negative cosine x, but I'm going to factor the negative out and it's going to make that plus dx. OK, so notice the V and the DU, there's no X in here. So now I, can, I know how to anti-differentiate that cosine. So X squared sine X minus 2 times the quantity X cosine X plus the antiderivative of cosine is sine X And then I'm going to put a plus C on the outside. Now, distribute the 2 to write your final answer. So x squared sine x. So the negative 2 distributes and makes this plus 2x cosine x. Distribute it here. Makes it negative 2 sine x plus C. All right. And that. Ladies and gentlemen, is our final answer. So hope that was helpful to you. If it was, 
let me know if you have a question or a problem that you'd like me to maybe make a video on put it in the comments below and make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications when new videos are uploaded take care now